wanted a girl. <laughs> <laughs> we won't dwell. It's fine. Wear a bow. And uh, here he is recreating it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, well done, Rich and Joe. Come on. Good song. Good song. Very good song. Now, uh, Dominic Cooper. Dominic Cooper oh. brings us a oh. big fantasy oh, yeah. epic, Warcraft <laughs> in the beginning. It's out on Monday, the 30th of May. And now, I, because I'm old, I had no idea how popular... I mean, I'd seen the ads for Warcraft, yeah. the, the video game, but I had no idea how huge it is. It's a global phenomenon, this thing. I think it is, yeah. I'm, or did you I'm, not know either? No, I had no idea either, no. <laughs> it's terrifying. Apparently millions and millions of people sit in their homes playing it on a daily basis. Which is terrifying in itself, but the, the, yeah, it's a game that um, I'm not still not sure what you do in it, but because I don't play it. But we made the film version of it, which is this. Yes, well, but, but it is. Or but not? it does. No. It, from watching the film, it seems like it is a whole world. I mean, it's a universe of kind of different interconnected beings and from worlds different places. And, yeah, yes. I think that, 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 well, I, but I, I loved the script when I first read it and I didn't have any idea of the, the landscape or the world in which it existed. Duncan Jones was the director who made Moon and um, Source Code, um, two really great films that I loved. And he... And is think, he David Bowie's son? He is David Bowie's son, yeah. Oh, okay. And he's a genius. He's a really great, great director. And he, so he sort of introduced me to this world and what it, what it meant to people. And uh, the storyline itself, I think often there's a lot of um, motion capture in the film. So there's a lot of different beings from different planets and then there's humans. I'm playing a human. But it was very interesting seeing that development in, in the technology. Well, listen, we've got some of the trailer for Warcraft the beginning, and this gives you an idea of kind of the scale of this thing. A world is dying. There is nothing to go back to. If we do not unite, our world will perish. This doesn't need to happen. There is one who may help us. There could be. Why are you here? To save our people. Can we trust him? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. You side with the humans against your own kind. This is suicide. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, I guess this is one of these things where it's a, obviously it's, it's an acting job, but there is something else going. You are joining a franchise. You know, does part of your mind think, mm. oh well, if nothing else happens, I can go to you know a Warcraft convention in twenty years and get a bag of cash and go home? Yes, apparently that does happen. I'm quite yes. looking forward to that because that may happen. That might be the future. That's the dream. Are you yeah, on? That's, yeah. that's, sorry, that's, that's the dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what you're talking about. Because, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Amelia, you're in Game of Thrones, which is everywhere. It's, it's like a top gear. It's in every country. But or do, friends. Or friends, indeed. <laughs> but I believe your parents, Amelia, were a bit worried because you didn't have that much to do in the first few episodes. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. So there's, there's some episodes that maybe they're like, no, it was great, but you're sort of not really on very much, are you? But, uh, but then I did encourage them to watch the last... Not this last episode, but the episode before, which, in hindsight, might have been not the episode to choose. Because there was a lot of you in that episode. There was a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was. Yes. yes. That might be the episode to dip into, Matt. There we yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sort of place to start. Yeah. I can really see how you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Uh, you know, obviously we've just got a far away shot, but the camera did go right in there. And, and in did where? you did you watch it with your parents? Uh, let's keep it clean now, right? Oh, no, yeah. no. I mean, <laughs> did you watch it with your parents? Yes. Because <laughs> that is quite eggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did you have to leave the room, or did you all just sit there and just kind of go, "Okay, we're watching okay. this"? Yeah. No, I think I probably started talking about something really important, yeah. like Top Gear. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Kate, you're in the Underworld franchise, which presumably that taps into a similar fan base. Yes, but we're quite lucky because ours wasn't based on a video game or a remake or a comic book or anything like that. So um, they're not allowed to say, you know, this You've didn't got it happen. Wrong. Yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah. because because we made it up. Because <laughs> how hard was that for you to get into kind of action mode? Well, quite hard because up until that point in time, there hadn't been a Chiswick-based superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about actually making one. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and in, pranking. Uh, pranking, superhero. pranking superhero. <laughs> and was it, a, was it a total recall then you had the... The unfortunate thing with Colin Farrell. Oh, yes, yes. Because I had this fight with him, which involved... There was a sort of... Um, sort of vagina slam to the face, let's just say what it is. Yeah, OK, yeah. yeah. Really, really about it. I did, yeah. Um, we could have talked around that for some time, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, 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 that's I what it was. I just thought I wasn't going to hedge, because I think that makes it creepy. Yeah. Um, so, I, so I was on the floor in a sort of shinyish trouser, and, and my legs were open, and I had to sort of slide towards him in a, you know, like a dirty dancing sort of way but a mean, dirty dancing way, and sort of chin him in the face with my area, and uh, just tough as iron. <laughs> and uh, anyway, on the way over, we what's, did it. What's tough as iron? Well, I would say it must be, because he was knocked out after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a Damn. lot going on. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, we, we practiced it with the stunt people, and then on the first take when we did it, it was very early on in the shooting, and people were still, you know, nobody was yet sort of chummy. And I went zooming towards, it's embarrassing enough, zooming towards someone you don't know that well with your iron vagina in the beach. <laughs> and, uh, and my shoe made a really very realistic farty noise all the way there. <laughs> His face was so horrified because he was sort of bracing enough for the vagina coming towards him, but then it was kind of going... <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever tell him? Immediately, but then, you know, as soon as you start saying it was my shoe, it was my shoe, everyone thinks it wasn't him. <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, good. Oh. It is time for music. This Grammy winning singer songwriter has been away for six years, but she's back with a new album, and tonight she's performing her latest single, Stop Where You Are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corin Bailey Ray! Yeah.